Trump discussed his popularity in Israel at a Republican National Convention RNC, donors convention at his Mar-a-Lago resort in Palm Beach, Florida. Trump said if he could run to be prime minister of Israel, he'd be at 98% in the polls, according to three sources who were there, Axios reporter Jonathan Swan wrote, saying that the RNC event had banned cell phones to prevent leaks. Trump talked about how much he'd done for Israel, noting his historic decision to move the U. S embassy in Israel to Jerusalem, Swan wrote. Trump also told donors that he didn't understand how any Jew could vote for a Democrat these days, the report said. He made his comments after freshman Congresswoman Ilhan Omar accused pro-Israel activists of pushing her to show allegiance and pledge support to Israel. Jewish Democrats criticized Trump for his claims of anti-Semitism within their party. President Trump is entitled to his own opinion, but not his own facts. In this case, both are just wrong, the Jewish Democratic Council of America posted on Facebook. In the midterm elections 82% of the two-party Jewish vote went to Democrats. 32-34th Jewish members of Congress are Democrats. As of early October, 70% Jewish voters disapproved of Trump's handling of the rise of anti-Semitism in our country. Those are fact. As the Times of Israel noted, the data cited came from a survey conducted by the Melman Group, a polling firm hired by Democrats. Trump also took to Twitter last week to double down on the anti-Semitism charges against the Democratic Party. The Democrats have become an anti-Israel party, they've become an anti-Jewish party, he tweeted.